In this lesson, I'll show you how to determine the coordinates of the image of a point being transformed. The question reads, the point 1 and 4 is on the graph of y is equal to f of x. Determine the coordinates of the image of this point on the graph given the following. Now notice in this expression right here, we have a function whose a value is 3, the k value, or the horizontal transformation is negative 4. D relates to this value, and that is our constant C. So what they want us to do is transform this point 1 and 4 as we apply each of these transformations. If we start with the point 1 and 4, an A value of 3 suggests that it is a vertical stretch by a factor of 3. And when we're dealing with vertical stretches, the X coordinate remains the same. And the y coordinate, which is currently 4, gets multiplied by a factor of 3 being 12. So 4 times 3 makes 12. If this were our only transformation, this is where the point would have been. And just to reference our steps, I'll write down that this is when we apply a is equal to 3. In our next transformation, we will consider k. Now k is written here as negative 4, but I'll just take it as 4 for now. So our next transformation is applying k being positive 4. When you have a k value that is greater than 1 or less than negative 1, you have a horizontal compression. And it is a horizontal compression by a factor of 1 over k. So you take this value of 4 and you write it down as 1 over 4. Now, whether it be a horizontal compression or stretch, these only apply to the x-coordinate. The y-coordinate remains the way it is. So the y-coordinate will remain as 12 and will multiply 1 by a quarter, giving us 0 0.25. You may also write it down as a fraction as well. Now we want to apply the fact that k is negative. The fact that k is negative means that we have a reflection about the y-axis. So if I apply a k value that is negative, then I'll multiply the x-coordinate by negative 1. Multiplying this by negative 1, we get negative 0 0.25 and 12. The next transformation I'll apply is the translation left or right. And that's dictated by this value. Since that value is positive 1, that makes our d negative 1. And so we'll be translating it to the left one unit. If we're translating it to the left, that deals with the x-coordinate. So I'll take this value. If I'm applying a d value that is negative 1, I'll take this value and subtract 1 from that. So negative 0 0.25 minus 1 makes negative 1.25. Our transformation after applying d, therefore, should be negative 1.25 and 12. You may also write this as a fraction being negative 5 over 4. It's really up to you. And lastly, if we are applying a C value, which is a vertical translation up or down, this case C is negative 2, so we will be subtracting 2 from the Y coordinate. Applying a C value that is negative 2 means that our point will be at negative 1.25 and 10. So this is the image of this original point transformed according to this function. Now let's move on to a similar question shown here. They want us to complete the table for the point 1 and 1. And starting with our very first transformation being k equal to 3. Remember, when k is greater than 1, then we have a horizontal compression by a factor of a third. So you take this value, you make it 1 over k being a third. So starting at 1 and 1, when you're applying horizontal compressions or stretches, you leave the y coordinate the way it was and you multiply the x by a factor of a third here, and we get a third. I prefer that you write it down as a fraction as opposed to 0 0.33, because then you will be introducing rounding errors, and that might not be good as you continue. In the next column, they want us to apply a k value being negative. Sort of the same as the previous question. So if k is negative, we have a reflection about the y-axis, and that means this becomes negative a third and one. Next, we will apply a positive a value of five. 
If a is equal to 5, we have a vertical stretch by a factor of 5. And so we leave our x coordinate the way it is. And we multiply our y coordinate by a factor of 5. 1 times 5 is 5. And lastly, we have a horizontal shift to the right by 2. So d is equal to 2. And vertically, where our c value is 4. Let's apply them both simultaneously. So I'll take negative a third plus 2. And let's add these fractions up. Common denominator of 3, negative 1 plus 6. That gives us 5 over 3. That's our brand new x coordinate. And our y coordinate will be 5 plus 4, and that's 9. So this point ends up becoming 5 over 3 and 9 if we were to follow it through its journey being transformed. And so there you have it. Two examples on how to determine the coordinates of the image of a point that's being transformed.